Good morning. This is the message for the S6s and the class of 2020. I hope this finds you well and safe and your families are safe and well. It's been a while since I last sent you a message, so I thought it was important to touch base as you're year ahead. You're still very much an important part of the James Gillespie's High School community. And in my head and in my heart, you haven't left. So it's important to just keep you posted with any updates. Um, when I talk about your health and well-being, and I hope you're safe and well, that is of paramount importance. And I know you'll have your family, your friends, your loved ones, your households to talk to. But please know you are part of our school community, always will be. And you have the teachers you get on with. You have the key adults. You have your pupil support leaders, support for learning staff, and me as your year ahead. All are, are here and are keen to speak with you if you'd like to talk with us. We know it's been challenging times for you and your families. And as I say, health and well-being is the most important thing. I hope you are taking the government advice of exercise and staying safe. But also, it's about talking with each other, telling each other about the challenges, sharing them, sharing any difficulties we're having, and then working through them together. So I've worked with a few of the groups over the last few weeks, and I think I'm in a position to give you some updates. I was thinking about what sixth years may want to hear about specifically, and I am reliably advised that an update on the S6 Leavers event, the prom, um, and the yearbook would be two key areas that you'd be keen to have an update with. So regarding the S6 celebration, that's what I'll call it just now, as opposed to a prom or a leaver ceremony, the S6 uh, celebration, we met, Mr McDonald, uh, Miss Peters and I met with um, Zoya and the prom committee a couple of weeks back just to reaffirm our commitment to you guys that we will support you to have an Essex celebration. Again, just like in my first message, when and where those details have to be fleshed out, we do not know. But we have given a commitment to Zoya and the prom committee that we will work with you to ensure it does happen. We are 100% committed to that. If it means going into 2021, because we don't know about the hospitality sector and what's available and social distancing and what kind of event, then if it goes into 2021, then so be it. But as long as there's an appetite from yourselves and a willingness to engage with us and work together with us to ensure it happens, then we give you that commitment that there will be an event. I know there's early talk of Easter 2021, which may seem a long way off. Um, you'd have all engaged in your new chapters of life, whatever that will look like. Um, and perhaps your appetite and momentum may fade over time, but I suspect knowing this year group, that won't happen. I think it's, I think it's particularly important you come together as a year group when possible and you celebrate, um, you celebrate your, your school career. And I know there's staff who want to join in with that and be there with you. But it's important for you as a year group to have that closure. And as I say, Mr McDonald, myself and Miss Peters are committed to supporting you and making that happen. So we'll continue to link in with Zoya and the prom committee. And uh, we will all keep you up to speed once we have more details about that. The yearbook. The yearbook um, so I've been in communications with... Uh, Eliza and I know she's been doing some great work in terms of leading leading that and flying the flag for the yearbook again this is something that was asked of us will it happen will it not happen I know Eliza's got the commitment to see it through and so I have said whatever you need from the school to make it happen just ask and we will support with making that happen when it's finalised when it's dispatched and disseminated to you guys Time will tell, but again, that commitment is there from the school to support um, Eliza and the team to make sure it is completed and handed out. Again, it may seem, well, I don't think it will seem like a small token, but I think that will be a memento moving forward that you can cherish and keep hold of. And then 2020 is a unique year. You are a unique year group, and I think that will be a great piece of memorabilia to have moving forward. Um, so I look forward to seeing the completed version of that and making sure that you receive, the, receive it. 
there's not much else from me just apart from saying hello and take care i know restrictions have eased off um which i'm sure is a, a positive thing for most of us but with that will come some anxiety for others i know the elderly or the vulnerable groups will now think perhaps they're further at risk because of a second wave um, now that people are starting to come into contact with other people so please be mindful um, of your own health but that that of others as well um, but the takeaway message here from me is that the Essex celebration is very much still on the table and we'll work with you the yearbook um, with your leadership is very much on the table and that you have staff at the school to speak to and just please continue to look after yourself and take good care you know where we are and you know how to reach us okay guys i think that's it for now um, and if there's anything else please just message me all right take good care bye bye